The next thing I want to take a look at are all of the capabilities that we can optionally enable for our custom GPT. So I'll make a new custom GPT, and if I go to configure, you can see that by default, web browsing and Dolly image generation are already enabled. Let's just focus on image generation in this video. So I'll come up with any sort of prompt. It doesn't really matter. I just want to show you the difference that this will make. Um, you are a nice person. Okay, that's our prompt. I'll write hello over in the preview window. When I said that's our prompt, that's our instructions. Okay, so I can ask it to generate me an image just like I can regular GPT-4 via the chat GPT interface. Generate me an image of an octopus wearing a hat. Octopus. And it enables the uh, Dolly action, basically it's generating an image using the Dolly model. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this box and ask it to do the exact same thing. And you can see what it says. Sure, I'll make that for you. Give me a moment. Oops, I'm currently unable to generate images. I can guide you on how you could do that, but it won't actually make the image. Okay. So what I'm going to do is make a new custom GPT. Maybe I'll just use this one, um, but I'm going to have it. Let's build a, a logo generator and I'm going to get pretty detailed in this, but I'll start with make me a logo generating GPT. It should help users create clean minimalist. I'm going to, I guess maybe I won't say minimalist. I'll just say create clean professional logos based on their requirements. And for this to work, we're definitely going to need to have Dolly enabled. All right, it comes up with the name of Logo Creator, Creator Pro. That's fine. Then it will generate me an image for the profile picture. I'm not really thrilled with that one, but I'll just say, sure. Just to keep it moving along. Okay. Now it's going to ask some follow-up questions. What kind of guidance it should offer? Should it focus on asking questions to understand their needs or immediately offer design decisions? Let's have it, hmm, let's have it ask follow-up questions to generate the best results. You know, ask whatever information it needs to generate a good logo. Okay, now I'm gonna follow that up. There's a few things I have in mind that I want it to definitely pay attention to, which is to not include any text in the images because even though Dolly has improved at generating text over the last year, two years, it still is pretty terrible. Um, and I don't want to have any text in the logos. So I'm going to say avoid, it should avoid putting any text in the logos. And it's kind of asking me the same thing again. Should it ask for more details whenever something is more clear? Do not be afraid to ask for more details. Now remember, all of this conversation I'm having with this GPT builder, GPT, which itself, right, is a GPT, uh, is just being used to write the configuration information. So I could just do that directly myself. Uh, and then it wants to know what its personality should be. I'm gonna say professional. Let's take a look at what it generated for me. Okay, note, it did not enable Dolly image generation itself. The GPT builder is just going to fill out conversation starters, name, profile picture, description, and most importantly, the instructions. Even though it should know that it needs to be able to generate images, I still need to enable that myself. I don't know how it could generate logos without that, but I still have to click that. Okay. Your role is to assist users in creating clean professional logos and their requirements, ask follow-up questions, emphasize simplicity and elegance. Um, let's see, avoid including any text unless explicitly requested, focusing on visual elements. All right, so let's give it a shot. Let's say design a minimalist logo for a donut shop 
in a beach town. All right, and it asked me some follow-up questions. I'm not happy about this first one. Do you have a name for the shop you want in the logo? Or are we focusing purely on the imagery? I'm gonna say focus only on imagery, no text. And then, see this is the whole iteration process. I would update the instructions here to be very clear, more clear, to not include any text. Uh, let's see, second one for colors. Let's go with, I don't know, how about beige and blue? Symbolism, you decide on symbolism. Four, donut style, let's do a classic ring donut. Five, I'll just ignore five. Give it a bit more information and now it starts generating me a logo, which it can do, again, because I enabled Dolly image generation, which is enabled by default. By Okay, so I'm happy with the actual logo part. I feel like that's not bad. The donut sort of acting as a sun almost in the background with the, uh, the ocean in front. However, the text is terrible, right? It got donut right. And then there's just randomly eights and then st Stigami here, <laughs> Saint Gamey here, not gonna work. So I'm gonna go back and update this. Remember, and I'll do it in all caps. Do not include any text in the generated images ever. No text in the images is permitted. Focus on generating text-free logos. I'm just going to be very specific. Okay, so let's try that again. Um, and let's have it generate, you know, just to keep it fair, let's do basically the same thing again. So I'm going to have it generate me a logo and I'll fast forward through this so you don't have to watch the whole thing for a donut shop in a beach town. All right, and this is what I ended up with. So a different logo, absolutely, but similar themes, donut, ocean, waves, all that stuff, and no text, most importantly. And I'm not going to say that this is enough to you know, make this a reliable text-free logo generator, but it is generating logos. It's generating images thanks to enabling Dolly image generation. And that's all that we need to care about for now. We would probably write far more restrictive guidelines about what makes a good logo, what makes a bad logo, you know, what elements to include, which ones to not include, what questions to ask, you know, different suggestions that it could come up with, all sorts of different uh, modifications we could make to the instructions here. Mm -hmm.